I hope you don't mind, but I got some more stones and I have to go through them. They've been playing in my head for years, for years and years and years. And it's like, every time I hear like an old school song, it's like, damn, oh shit, I remember that. Yo, I wish, I always wish I could sample that and only get this part out and get that part out. It's always been, you know, you know, I don't always think about it, but like when I'm hearing old stuff, I'm like, wait a minute, I got stems. I can, now I can, hold up, I can do this now. Like, I can flip old songs like the way I really wanted to flip them. So I gotta go back. Before I can start really, really getting into that where you can't tell where I'm getting it from, I gotta get all of this out. I got, well, I gotta get a lot of it out, all right? It's just that sound, I just had to get it, I gotta get it out of my system. And then, uh, sooner or later, when I chop them joints, you ain't gonna know where them joints came from. It's just a feel, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all know who this is, our favorite. One of them old school, if you mad and young, you might not know, but come on, man, now I can go back through them old records, old r and that your mom used to play, your dad used to play. I know we Yo, y'all seen that video with Roger Lynn? Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I actually used to speak to Roger Lynn back when I made MPA, Supreme MPA. I, that was one of the first people I contacted, was Roger Lynn, and told him my idea of what I wanted to do. Um, quick story. So I told Roger Lynn what I wanted to do, but I wanted to make a real drum machine, right? Basically, I wanted to make the um the MPC key. That's what I wanted to make. You know what I'm saying? The key 61, the key 30, whatever, the other one, the, the archive with a keyboard. That's what I wanted to make. And I was contacted Roger Lynn. He was like, yo, man, I got an idea. Because I already had this, but this. It's not, they don't have that brain in there, that that sound, you know, even though it got the pads and the keyboard, I was like, yo, MPC should do that, Akai should do that, so Akai was taking a long time, so I was like, yo, let me just contact Roger Lynn and see if he want to collab with me, I'm a nobody, but let's just see, and he started talking, yo, he gave me all kind of contacts, I even contacted the manufacturer who makes the pads, who makes the sensors under the pads. Roger Lynn gave me a whole bunch of information on program and a lot of stuff. We talked for a lot. Uh, but I wanted him to uh, come in and program with me and make a physical drum machine. And you know, he was like, yo, you got money? I'm like, no, I ain't got no money. You Roger Lynn, you got money. On the real, this is real talk, a real story. You know? Um, so that didn't happen. But guess what? A cell phone was happening at the same time. So then I started learning how to program. Then I found my partner. He was in Russia. My boy Ivy. He like made some small apps online. And when I see it, I was like, yo, hold up. I hit him up and like, yo, this is what I'm trying to do. So I made a version of the MPC called Supreme MPA. It had a drum machine and a keyboard on it. Yo, that's what I wanted and I made it. All right, it was an app, Supreme MPA. But yeah, I was talking to Roger Lynn first to help me do a real drum machine, but it cost too much money. So I wound up making an app. So that's how the app actually happened. It wasn't going to be an app. It was going to be a real drum machine. Okay, so that's one. I got another one. This one is short, but I just wanted to tell you that quick story. Um, I might have told that story before while I was making Supreme MPA. I'm not sure if I told you that story. I always love Curtis Mayfield voice. I just like the way he said it.
So yeah, Roger Lynn is the man. That keyboard that he's playing in, in the video, we already we talked about that when he was making it. That was his idea. That's when he was coming out with that during the time I was talking. He's like, yo, I'm making this. Whatever. He showed me the designs. He texted me, you know, let me see it. I'm like, oh, that's nice. But hey, let's make an MPC with a keyboard. I hope you come back in the game with a Kai and make a, um, a signature version. A new, a, you know, new NPC signature Rosalyn, that I would buy it straight up. Yup, Rosalyn, man. Yo, he made the ring from. You know? Uh, NPC, it's a lit drum. Drum is all with me. I know y'all know all of that. I'm just talking just to be talking. I just like these beats. Yo, that's so dope. It's so dope. It's dope, son. See? Ain't nothing on there, man. I ain't even using it. I didn't, I didn't even sign in to my arm. Um, I didn't sign in. Because everything I saved out the PC, I just threw it in my MP. Alright man, I hope y'all had fun. I hope y'all liked it, man. And yo, I would like to say I just love those horns. Those horns. I like horns. I always like horns. Yo man, make them stem beats. Make them stem beats, son. It's fun, man. It's just practice. It's just practice. It's having fun. Just have fun. broke that one up real quick how did i break that up let me see if i could find it i broke that up if i tell the whole pardon me brother pardon me brother i know who you won't mind i know who you won't mind as you stand in your glory as you stand in your glory if i tell the whole story it's not like that on the record on the record it goes like this pardon me brother as you stand in your glory, I know who you won't mind if I tell the whole story. All right, but I just chopped it up and pardon I played me, it. Brother, pardon me, brother. I know who you won't mind. I know who you won't mind as you stand in your glory. As you stand in your glory, if I tell the whole story. Peace, man. Peace. <laughs>